Welcome to The One Who Seeks, where you are the one who seeks. My name is Tara. I am your intuitive tarot reader. I use tarot as a tool to open up the channels of your intuition. By tapping into your unawakened subconscious, you will answer the questions that you seek. I am not a psychic, although it may seem like it sometimes. Take what resonates and leave the rest. Always remember, the freedom of choice is your power. Only you can make it happen with your actions. What are you seeking? Hello and welcome to the one who seeks. Or you are the one who seeks. What are you seeking? Okay, it's been a little while. But like forever. We're going to ground ourselves here. A grounding spray. Mm, okay. Thank you for being here. I'd like to call in our angels of loving spirit. Only those with loving attitudes are allowed. Anything else I ask to leave. And thank you for your service. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I wanted to do this a couple days ago, but um, I don't know. Just been working on um, making my own tarot deck and getting caught up in different things that I'm doing. And it's hot and just learning how to gold pan. Uh, setting up our layout of our house. Uh, karma's passing and trying to regather myself and my emotions. So here we are and I picked a few decks here. Uh, there's a lot of people graduating out there right now and they have learned some new things. Um, some people are going to be continuing learning new things. I'm learning a lot of new things. Like I said, I'm trying to create a tarot deck, um, learning some AI, which, you know, I'm kind of against, but is kind of fun at the same time and a little bit of addicting, um, and creating images from images that I already have. So <laughs> eventually you'll, you'll see those, um, what I'm doing, but let's get into it. So I'm, I am getting, um, these decks out because these ones felt like the ones for learning, right? Let me light my candle. Mm -hmm. <sighs> okay, I have my protective bubble around me. Protect me and protect you. I have a bubble around all of us. Okay, let me be clear an open channel for the good messages coming through. All right. Congratulations, graduates. I speak. Water. Okay. Okay, that may or may not mean anything to anyone. We'll find out in the reading here. So I am going to use, so I actually created a new spread as well. And we're going to use that. I don't think I've actually used it on camera yet. I used it once for myself after creating it. So we are going to talk about you, them, your relationship with each other, uh, the situation, what is unseen, the action you need to take and the outcome that is going to happen from that action. Okay. Um, we are going to look at guiding signs 101. I am from the Bay Area. And uh, Highway 101 is in the Bay Area. Okay, usually right along the coastline. A lot of it. Um, well, actually, that's Highway 1. It's 
been a while since I've been in the Bay Area. So 101, I think, runs through um, San Jose. So I was born in Santa Clara. Gosh, it's been a long time. I left the Bay Area in 2015. It is now 2024. So it's been a little while. Although it does feel like yesterday. Okay, so let's look at this. Let's see what we get from our guiding signs. Woo! That one just jumped out. Bicycle. Which really reminds me of the summertime. Okay, and then we have, um, it looks like maybe throwing out the trash or recycling. And we have camping. Alright, so looks like um, you guys are going to be going out and camping and celebrating your graduation. Having some good time. Make sure you pick up your trash. Save the planet. Uh, nobody wants to go out into the wilderness to get grounded and see a bunch of trash everywhere. It's it's not cool. Um, if you're going out and you're going to party out in the wilderness, I mean, really anywhere, pick up your trash, please. There's so many places that I've been to where, you know, you have a big 4th of July um, celebration or something. Uh, especially I just saw last year in Lake Tahoe at Zephyr Cove. They had a 4th of July gig going on there and there was lots of people and they left so much trash on those beaches and it's really disgusting to see. Um, pack it in, pack it out, please. Okay. Do it for other people, do it for the animals, do it for Mother Nature. Okay, so let's see here. We are looking for the bicycle. On 68. Okay. Get out of your chair. Time for fresh air. Feeling the freedom and having fun. This cannot be overdone. Personal inquiries for today. Where can you find more time to ride a bike? What choices are you cons uh, consciously making to take care of the environment? I think we're just talking about that. Uh, what new playful ways can you find for doing things? Which things most create that feeling of freedom in your life? Okay, those are things to ask yourself. And the bicycle deeper meaning. The bicycle card is reminding you to play and find freedom in your life. It is also telling you to rediscover, rediscover the same sense of aliveness and fun that you had as a child when you spent hours riding your bike around your neighborhood. This is definitely for uh, <laughs> my generation. I'm about to be 45 here um, in a month. <clears throat> I don't think uh, the newer generations are getting out on their bike as much. But maybe you are, and I hope you are. Uh, when you are on vacation, you can rent a bike and ride along the seaside or in the woods. Or perhaps you can incorporate bike riding into your everyday life. One side benefit. It is a fun way to exercise. The bicycle card also tells us about the joy of the bicycle as a mode of transportation. Unlike a car, which coops you up inside, a bicycle lets you breathe deeply in the fresh air. Because you are going slower on a bicycle, you can pay closer attention to your surroundings. You are also helping the environment by not polluting the air. If you have drawn the bicycle card, look and see where a bicycle is wanting to show up in your life. It is about freedom, joy, play, and exercise, or perhaps a more eco-friendly mode of transportation. Perhaps it is simply a call to bring more freedom and fun into your life. OK, 
Okay, and then we have this recycling. This is kind of a fun deck. I actually got this at Goodwill when I was working there back in uh, Grass Valley. And I didn't even realize it was like a tarot deck, like um, Oracle cards. I just thought it was a game. And I was very um, excited to know that it was a deck. All right, where is the recycling one? There we go, litter removal, 80. Ah, I'm feeling a little out of sorts right now. Okay. All right. Clear out your clutter today. It's the number one rule of feng shui. If you want the energy to flow, look and see what you need to let go. Personal inquiries. What can you let go of right now? What items need to be cleaned out and cleared out of your life? What are your emotional places in your life that need clarifying and cleaning up? In what areas can you open space for new things to come in by letting go of the old? I think this is a perfect one for your graduates too because you're moving on to new things. You're moving out of your dorm or your apartment or wherever it is you're living right now um, while you're going to school. And it's time to move, right? So... There are some things that you need to let go of. Um, not everything can come with you, right? It's time to kind of clear that out so that you can move a lot easier. You know, sell it, uh, have a little garage sale, make some money, uh, use that money to go camping. Litter removal, deeper meaning. There is an adage, as above, so below, as within, so without. If we want to clear and make space within ourselves, it's helpful to start clearing out things on the outside. All the things in your life take up space with our consciousness. This is like a computer. This is like a computer containing many different files and memory tied up to the files. The more we let go of things we don't need anymore, the more spaciousness we create within ourselves. This allows the new things that we truly desire to come in. So this is funny because um, some of you know I'm an interior designer. I uh, have Corrent Design is my design studio name. And this is pretty much my motto. Um, you know, clear out the clutter in your mind uh, by clearing out the clutter in your space, right? And creating a space that feels good to you wherever it is you are. Like I'm in a fifth wheel. Uh, this is a very small space. It's hard to have a lot of things in here or move around and do a lot of things. Um, you know, I can still do them. It definitely makes it a lot harder. Uh, I do feel a little... Uh, restricted in the things that I can do sometimes, right? But if you can clear out the clutter in the environment that you're in, it could even be the clutter of emotions, uh, the clutter of stuff. It, there's different ways of thinking of clutter, right? There's a lot of clutter in your brain if you have crazy brain. If you clear that out, you really open yourself up to new, exciting things. All right. Um, and then you feel good. It's kind of the whole thing of if you look good, you feel good, right? So if you dress appropriately for how you want to feel, instead of being in your pajamas all day, like I usually am, <laughs> uh, you feel a lot better. You have a lot more confidence, right? The same principle applies to relationships. It's important to clarify your relationships. When a relationship ends, it's essential to have honorable closure with that other person. Just as physical things accumulate, so does energy. Accumulated negative energy can create dams that block the flow from the universe to us. It makes it difficult for gifts to reach us and bless us. 
Look and see what needs to be cleared out of your life. See what you can let go of to keep that flow going. If you have drawn the litter removal card today, you are being asked to look at the physical areas around you, like the closet, attic, or garage. See what can be cleared out and cleared out, cleaned out and cleared out. Look also at your relationships and the emotional areas of your life. Ask yourself what you can release so you can keep the energy flowing. Okay. And let's go to the camping one. Sixty-four. It's a ten. Endings and new beginnings. Camping. Nature is calling. Time to dwell on the land. It could be in the forest or in the sand. Feel Mother Earth under your feet. You have to admit this is very sweet. Okay, inquiries. What can you do to spend more time in nature? What place most nurtures your heart? The mountains, water, forest, or desert? How are you making time for that special place that most nourishes you? How long has it been since you ran barefoot through the grass? Ground yourself. Look at the, your relationship to the land, to nature, to Mother Earth. See if you are making time for nature in your life. The camping card is calling you to spend time with Mother Earth. Whether by camping, walking on the soil, or going to the ocean, beaches, forests, mountains, or desert. Ask yourself which one of these most calls to you. For me, it's the ocean. I love the ocean. And the beach. Um, really, any kind of water. Yeah, but the lakes, the rivers, the creeks. I do love all those. But the beach is my place. Um, the forest. That's why I love California. Because you can get the, the ocean beach and the forest and the mountains all together in one spot. That's my favorite spot. All right. <clears throat> Uh, the camping card also tells us to be good stewards of the earth. It reminds us to treat our mother earth with respect, awe, and reverence. Not to use it as a lumber yard or resource center. We are all one with nature. Whatever happens to the earth happens to all of us and reveals the interconnection between all of us and the earth. Okay, we are all energy. We are all specks of dust. Right. Look and see what parts of nature you love best. Find something that you that will connect you to earth. It could be gardening in your own yard where you can grow flowers to bring beauty to your home or herbs to use when you cook. Maybe you are being called to create a greenhouse and grow food all year round. If you have drawn the camping card today, you are being asked to look at your connection to the earth. Discover which part of nature most nourishes you and spend more time there. Okay, definitely a very strong grounding um, message here. Right? Maybe you're spending so much time studying and... Uh, working on whatever it was that you're learning in school that it's time for you to get outside all right it's summertime now school's out for summer and it's time to go out and have fun and ground yourself and um definitely start that garden i want to start a garden for sure um, i got plants inside here with me but i can't start my garden until um we're done working on our yard here because we're going to be moving a lot of dirt. Okay. So let's try out this new spread. Okay. And I am just going to get these out of the way. Actually, I'm going to lay them down. like this um, face down first 
and then we're gonna flip them over. Okay, so that's you going across. This is them. Going across. Okay. This is uh, the relationship. Going across. And we have the situation going up and down here. The unseen. The action that you need to take. And the outcome. Okay. So we're going to play around with this and I did choose this deck because it is actually a learning deck. This is the tarot for learning. And since we're talking about learning, I thought this one was perfect. Okay. Uh, let's see what's going on with you here. All right, so you had a, a lot to carry um, and a lot to learn here with the Ten of Wands. You know, with all of this learning and the years of um, schooling that you went through, there, there was kind of a heavy burden there. And you're moving on here with this page of wands and now you're going out and exploring, right? You're exploring the world and figuring out which way you wanna go. Which direction to go? Which, which direction is the wind going? Which direction is the water going in here? All right, and you are really holding on to your material items here. Um, I definitely see how proud and boastful you are about these trophies that you have here. Um, maybe you were in sports and you did win a lot of trophies. Um, or you're just kind of holding on to this knowledge that you gained. You know, after all this weight, you're really holding it on onto it uh, for dear life. <clears throat> uh, I could even see uh, travel here. And you're pinching your pennies and saving up to go somewhere in particular. Um, you know, and you are really proud of your accomplishments here. Okay, and this is them. Wow, okay. Um... So this person is really creative. Yeah, and um, maybe you had some sort of union with this person in creating something. Maybe this is like a work study group. Um, but we, uh, this person is walking away from it now, right? It is over. They're looking at a new perspective. Um, but they're still struggling. They're still fighting. Maybe they're still in school. But they're out here grounding themselves. Okay, it looks like this person could maybe be like kind of wishy-washy, right? They're one way and then they're another because we've got some like opposing energies going on here. And you don't really know if they're going to stay or if they're going to walk away. And there's kind of this confrontation going on. Uh, maybe they didn't really get along with this group as well. And um, they're hanging themselves out to dry here. They're just walking away from it and they have a lot of conflict. Okay, let's see the relationship. Oh, wow. Marriage. Oh, wow. Marriage for sure. Um, holy cow. Yeah, this is definitely a marriage. 
Okay, because we have the Six of Wands, the Two of Cups, and the Ten of Pentacles. The only thing missing is the Four of Wands. We have the Nine of Wands here, though. Um, I feel like this person is coming back. Maybe they're following you because you're moving on on your journey and you have a lot of confidence here. This person doesn't really seem to have as much confidence in the union. Uh, it, and they might be having like some sort of a homecoming. Maybe they had taken off at one point and they are coming back and they are coming back to have union with you. They want uh, to create a family with you in a strong bond. Um, but they're kind of unsure of it. They're not really sure if you're going to want to be with them. You, you know, you have all these accomplishments and um, they've kind of put you up on a pedestal here. And they don't know if they are worthy to be with you. And so they're kind of hanging back here a little bit and observing you. Um, you know, this is after the battle here. They've gone through so much that they're all wounded here. But now it looks like they fought them off, right? Fought these other people off. I mean, this could even be like somebody who's a player, right? I feel like um, you went out and explored other people. This could have been a relationship that you had while you were in school. And maybe this person had graduated before you, like a year before you, and they went off and they went and explored the world and they, they had their battles already. And so now they're here uh, with their lessons learned. And they're reevaluating what they want with you. Okay. And the situation here, so this is your situation, is... Um, you know, there's definitely a lot of battle going on here. There's a lot that you're holding on to. It could be physically or emotionally. You know, between the two of you, you had this, um, this creative union that's going to be triumphant, though. Right, I feel like your problems are coming together finally. You're finally seeing eye to eye. And you're going to end up moving forward in a beautiful way. Okay, and the thing that's unseen here is this traveling. This um, trying to decide which way to go and moving on moving forward, grounding yourself. Okay, you're looking for something on how you can have this union. You know, this kind of reminds me a little bit of like the hermit. Maybe um, this, this person is going inward to figure themselves out and you're going outward to figure yourself out. And so, you know, these opposites are, are making it hard for you to have this union. Okay, and the action that you need to take is to... Um, really hold on to your finances and look at things at a different perspective so that you can bring this abundance in. You know, this could even be something like you guys have um, sort of differences in how to spend money. 
or where you want to live. This person wants to live in the city. This person wants to live in uh, nature, out in the woods. But you do want to have this family with this person. So you've got to figure out what it is that you need to do. Right? It looks like you just need to kind of sit still for a little while. You've been moving around a lot. This person's been moving around a lot. And it's time to sit still, look at a new perspective, look at each other's perspectives to figure it out. All right, and your outcome is holding your ground, being proud of what you've accomplished regardless of the fight here. Okay, I do see this person standing here alone though. Maybe they're watching you walk away. Maybe you made the choice that you don't want to, you know, live in one of these places, right? Because this is you wanting to live in the city and this is them being a nomad. Let me turn off that air conditioner. Okay. So I do feel like um, after looking at these different perspectives here that um, somebody's going to be standing alone here and probably watching you walk away. This person is probably going to walk away. They're like, absolutely not. I'm not moving to the city. I can't live like that. Okay, they do want to be with you though. They really do want to be with you. It's just, um, like we were talking about, uh, your environment really affects your psyche. And I don't think this person can move to the city as much as they want to be with you. I mean, they're really fighting this, right? You're standing your ground, you're this person's fighting it in their own head, maybe even fighting with you about it. And it looks like they're wounded here and uh, maybe watching you walk away. Because you're going and you're going to live your life and uh, maybe you have a really good job somewhere in the city. You have a job offer. All right, let's see. Um, so this is the runic oracle. Okay. And we have Fayou. Okay. Um, it really feels like, I mean, this is like, a, it looks like a squirrel out in nature and is, has been hunting for food, you know, gathering its nuts and is feeling very triumphant about finding this nut and is feeling really good about themselves in surviving. Right, let's see. Well, that's the very first one. It is a squirrel, number two. This is about unity. Mm 
Okay. Frisia, Frisia, is that how you say it? Um, okay, the working and energetic red squirrel holds aloft her golden acorn, a lucky discovery after a successful, a successful forage. It takes effort, but she is richly awarded and her family is well fed. Red squirrel needs to be careful about hoarding all of her nuts in one place her treasures are safer when spread around a little right and this is that hoarding here so you are hoarding all of these possessions here this could be tangible things material things it's also about spirituality it's about mother earth so maybe you need to spread that um that love around a little bit you're holding on to it too much and you're making that the priority over this person who really loves you and, you know it's okay to make that decision if that's what you want but maybe you need to spread it around a little bit um Fayou is a high energy rune and it brings luck and fortune as the first rune of the first it it speaks of beginnings it speaks this is the room that refers to movable property like money or possessions in readings it references prosperity in particular that achieved through your own efforts right because you just went through all this schooling you had a lot of effort it can indicate financial security and successful business, property and asset negotiations. Maybe you're buying a new house somewhere in the city here. And it's costing you a lot, right? Um, you can also mean reduced financial problems and unexpected good fortune. It is a sign of hope and plenty, success and happiness. In reverse, the spoon is an indication that a price must be paid, either for change circumstances or happiness. It can also refer, reference some sort of failure. Okay, but we it's up right here. Keywords, wealth, luck, abundance, energy, fertility. Okay, magical workings. This is a good rune for attracting abundance. Use moon water, right? We have water here. Water has been set out overnight in the light of the full moon. To write this rune invisibility on bank note. I think it's supposed to be blank notes and affirmations. Fu. Feu also gives energy to spells. Okay, so you're definitely gonna have some luck and wealth here. Abundance, energy, and fertility. There might even be some sort of a pregnancy where you're trying to get pregnant or something, right? Because there is this family card of wanting to start a family. Um, Maybe this person doesn't want to have a baby, right? And so this is why you have to walk away. It could be set for someone there. Okay, let's get some crystal wisdom here. From the ancient power of crystals. Okay. Malachite. Healing. I am healing machine manifesting miracles. Whoa. Yeah, that one's jumping around. Okay. So this one doesn't have a book. No, no book for that guy. Uh, 
So yeah, you're you're healing here. This person is healing as well from whatever's happening, right? Whatever this battle is. So maybe it's not the right time to be together. Her Kimmer dreams. I am constantly manifesting my dreams into reality. instrument of peace and divine temple crystal source I am deeply connected to an expression of the divine source of the universe for sure right tentacles are source so you're healing dreams peace and source so you definitely need to be grounding yourself and connecting with Mother Earth um, to get the outcome that you want. Hey, you have some decisions that need to be made here. And you need to spread the love a little bit. Right? Maybe you're just holding on too tightly to some of the things that don't really matter. Okay, and that could either be this other person or that could be um, a career that you are trying to pursue. So you have to decide. It's one or the other here. You can't have both. Um, but I think either way, you're going to be fine. Right? You're going to do very well for yourself. We're gonna have a lot of abundance either way okay well that is your reading for today and i thank you for being here and if you found this message to be useful please like share subscribe to my channel it really helps me out um leave a comment Please leave only nice comments. Uh, we don't want negative energy around here. Um, you know, you can ar arise a question, um, but let's not be mean. <laughs> okay. So I will see you in the next reading. Bye. I want to thank you and our angels for being present for the messages that have come through in this reading. If you found this to be helpful, please like and share this content so others can benefit as well. Seek the subscribe button and don't forget to get notifications so you never miss a reading. The more love you share, the more love you receive. And you can find more love right here in these other videos. For more information about this channel, personal readings, swag, and donations, check the links in the description box.